porn star Dakota Sky who posed topless against George Flyard's mural was, homeless, and, battling fentanyl addiction, when found dead at 27REPORT porn star Dakota Sky, who died at age 27 was, homeless, and, battling fentanyl addiction, according to a report. Dakota was found dead weeks after facing the wrath of netizens for posing topless against the backdrop of a George Floyd mural. Porn star Dakota Sky, who died at a young age was, homeless, and, battling fentanyl addiction, according to a report. Her friends and family made this revelation. Dakota was found dead weeks after facing the wrath of netizens for posing topless against the backdrop of a George Floyd mural. She was 27. The porn star known as Dakota Sky's real name is Lauren Scott. She passed away on June 9. Dakota Sky was found dead in a recreational vehicle and discovered by her estranged husband. According to a report in The Sun, Dakota's aunt Linda Arden shared that the porn star had struggled with addictions to fentanyl and alcohol. However, her aunt also revealed that Dakota had been clean four weeks before her untimely demise. Dakota's aunt said she was also bullied online, sharing a topless photo next to a George Floyd mural. Linda said, she was stalked by demons like no one will ever understand unless you've lived it. Talking about Dakota's death, Linda continued, she no longer has to walk through this world in pain in her own prison and that gives me comfort to know she no longer has to fight the voices and images that haunted her. She also said she loved Dakota unconditionally and just wanted happiness for her. Dakota Sky's friend and colleague James Bartholet also mentioned that the porn star was trying to get clean before her death. He shared that however, Dakota got involved with people that were a bad influence on her. James also said, first was so shocked to hear of her death, my heart just sank. It is devastating. He recalled the last time he saw her and shared, I feel like the last time that I saw her she was walking away and I did not know if I would ever see her again. I told her she needed to get help, to go to hospital and to get clean. James added, she said, first promise.